to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits with um, video. It's actually a beer hall, but uh, hey. So, yeah. Um, first, so, a load of beers from Low Cost Beer. And, the, and they've had a massive update just recently. Ton of new beers, draft beers. They're trying to kind of also change their... Um, the way they're doing it, and I applaud them for this because uh, there was a time where you could only buy stuff in one litre, and uh, if it was something expensive, a litre, you know, it was a big purchase. But now they're doing it in 330 mils, which means that you get the chance to try something and it's not too much of a gamble, and it's actually quite cheaper than what you get it in can anyway. So we're going to dive in. There's quite a few beers, so I'm going to clear around and put them all. But, uh, <clears throat> so first on the list, from Aura Brewing, and is that Gessoni? Yeah, so it's Gessoni DDH IPA. So it's a double dry opt IPA, designed by Italians, brewed in London, um, six percent, and a soft and easy IPA with a triple threat combo of Banging, Mosaic, Simcoe and Citra, Oats, Pale and Munich Malt, fermented in New England style for a creamy soft mouthfeel, bold juicy flavours with a soft pink grapefruit backdrop and 6%. So yeah, first ever beer from Aura Brewing. And for the people like Adam and Greg and Craig and Rob, people like that really follow the craft breweries. Uh, there should be some, some interesting ones there for you. So from the Yeasty Boys, yeah, <laughs> like the Beastie Boys, but yeast. Um, this is Engelbert Pumpernickel. It's a triple IPA, uh, boozy, golden, lychee, mango, pine happiness. Brewed in Devon. So, bottom of the, is it bottom of the country? Hold on a minute. Cornwall, Devon. Yeah, well, it is. 9.2%. I <laughs> just totally flummoxed myself. Is it Devon or South? Yeah, sure it is. Sure it is. <laughs> anyway, yeah, they're cracking beer. Hey, oh, someone's messaged me or something. So, what did that say? Uh, all right, let me get rid of that. So, just going to get myself a glass of wine because I've had a beer all day and uh, I have a taste for it. Personally, I want to rip open a few of these beers and review them straight away. But, you know, the site at the moment has got that many good beers. It's worth um if you're back into the spending mode oh what a fruity uh, wine that is. if you're back in the spending mode it's definitely worth uh checking the site out so from oscar blues brewery over the, over the pond in the usa it's cano bliss double ipa um it's a Citra Double India Pale Ale, 8.2%. Austin, Texas. So yeah, Oscar Blues. And that's another thing about <clears throat> low cost. Getting these beers from America, you know, you don't see them. And if you do see them, they're expensive. A lot more expensive than their southern. Sort of so, from the Yeasty Boys again, over in Devon. It's a Black Distant Sun, Black IPA. This is dark, vibrant, hoppy, grapefruit, tropical. And it says a hashtag Bipper Comeback, 7.2%. Next. Oof. It's Brewery Orc. Tell their colour straight away. And these guys are coming to Nottingham Craft Beer Festival. So this is Ripple Twister, a raspberry whipple, 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 
Raspberry Whipple. Whipple. Yeah, whatever. Raspberry Whipple Oat Milk Pale. 6.5%. And there we go. New one to me. Never had it before. Never had any of these before. So we're fifth. We're a quarter of the way in. Next up on the list. Collaboration brew between, I think it's Alpha Delta and Sudden Death Brewing Company, and it's called Helios, an HDHC dipper, the IPA. So there we go. Um, on the back, it says Helios, uh, yeah, brewed in Newcastle. These were at Nottingham Craft Beer Festival last year. If memory serves me correctly, Craig would know more. But yeah, they were there last year. Uh, I'm not sure if they're there this year. I've not heard anything as yet. Next on the list. Look at the artwork. Uh, this is from the Brazil Brewing Company. And it's San Diego Cali. And it's an 11% Imperial Stout. So, whoa, big Imperial there. I do love an Imperial. Hence why I brewed some today. And 13.3%. Uh, and that's before I had the spirits. Really looking forward to that. Um, again, from the Yeasty Boys, they've got a a load of yeasty boys beers appeared on the site so make sure you check that out uh from and it's wizard motor american ipa great artwork um rose gold juicy grapefruit orange old school 6.5 percent for that one so next on the list it's from ooh, uh, the Brussels Beer Project. Never heard of them. Blitz Fix. It's a 9.9% volume triple IPA. Please peel this off and recycle me. Um, Blitz Fix is a high incendiary, what's the writing? Explosive. Sometimes you can't take the middle path and get cold feet the time is now drink this beer or die trying yeah um it's got all the list of everything that's on there um, yeah brewed in belgium so there we go Next on the list, Florida Man, and this is um, a double India Pale Ale from the Cigar City Brewing, another American uh, brewery. The double India Pale Ale, un unpredictable, vari unpredictable varieties of hops used in near criminal volumes, combined to create a bold citrusy double India Pale Ale, brewed to pay tribute. To the world's worst superhero, Florida Man. Uh, the usual good old there. Uh, IBUs are 80. The alcohol is 8.5% for that one. So, yeah, another American beer. Right. Next on the list. This does sound. Uh, Bop a raggy box ticking one. So it's got a picture of a banana on it. And it's a wonder beyond brewing. And it's called Split, a banana split imperial black ice cream IPA. 11% ABV out of Manchester. Wonder beyond. So yeah, banana split. I love bananas. I'd love to do a banana imperial stout. I don't know how I'd do, get the banana flavouring in, to be honest, unless I used an essence. Uh, a lot of brewers use essences, you know. It's not all done with fruit. Uh, sometimes it's not easy. It's, you know, you can't do it that way. 
Oh, I've got another Engelbert pumping nickel. So I've got two of them. Put him out of the way. Next on the list, oops, from the Yeasty Boys again. It's a cuddle party. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a, a nourishing ale, it says. So 6.4% um, volume. Dark, rich, chocolate, caramel, nutty. Ho, ho, ho. From the Yeasty Boys. So cuddle party. So on to uh, the next one. And we're with um, Dig Brew and Alpha Delta. No, it's Alpha Delta. I can see the thing. And it's called Well, it's an Imperial IPA. I'm not sure the name. Uh, Cassilius. S. Cassilius Est and Morto. Horto. And it's a West Coast Imperial IPA at 9%. Obviously, it's digboo.com, brewed with Alpha Delta. Yeah. So, yeah. Glad I could, I'm glad they printed it out normally on the back because I couldn't read that. But, uh, yeah, Dig Brew, Alpha Delta. So, then we go on to, and like I was saying about the um, the bottles now coming in 330 mils, and you've been able to choose that. Uh, for me, I think it's a valuable and a wise move. If you're somebody like a lot of us who follow this beer community who wants certain beers and don't really want to do a thicker mix but and then don't really want beers that you don't want you know we all want beers that we want we all want beers that we're not keen on so to get these beers into um draft form so obviously it's in their standard panda pot bottle draft and with a printed out label on the front and solid as you'd expect from low cost you know and i've got one of these and i'll tell you how good they are well i do need to review it sometime soon because it must be getting uh, it must be buried by now but it looks the same color as the day it come it's still solid and it's one y ipa uh four percent 330 mils and a hazy India pale ale. And to be safe, it's hazy. It's not too bad, actually. So, don't worry about the date. That's been there. Wow. I'm sure Matt would know. It's about eight months now. It's got to be about eight months. So, persistent scribble, hazelnut porter. It's 5.9%. It's from Damlands. Damlands Brewery. I've had some of their... I've had their beer on draft. On cask from um, a local Lincoln Green Brewing Company um, pub. Next, and possibly the beer of the show, King Arthur English Barley Wine, thirteen point two percent, sessionable. From Tartarus Beers, my first ever beer from Tartarus Beers in West Yorkshire. So yeah, and again, solid as you like. And uh, from Asvex Brewing. Now Asvex, for those who don't know, Asvex is a newly created brewery. I'll just wet the whistle. Newly created brewery. Uh, by the former owner and head brewer of Neon Raptor. I don't know the full details about why he left, but there was obviously something happened. Uh, and this is Bulletproof Cheetah, any IPA, 7% Asvets Brewery in Liverpool. And again, these 330 mil bottles, this in a can, oh, five, six quid, you know, they're not, and it's not easy to get hold of. So to get this in in panda pot bottle form is very interesting. And again, from Asvex again, 
is Monster Truck IPA. Monster Truck Taxi IPA rather. 6.8% Asvex Brewing. And I'm not sure if the lad is a former Nottingham lad. If anybody from the beer community knows Neon Rat's uh, early days, I don't. I, I really don't. Um, my journey into craft beer started in 2019, easy, before I started really getting into more craftier stuff. And certainly 2020, when my full journey uh, became getting into local craft. Finally, but yeah, it's been it's been an amazing beer haul. This is Baboon DIPA, 8% from the Missing Link Brewery in West Sussex. And uh, some absolute box ticking stunners there. I think the barley wine, the banana one, the Imperial Star and the Azvex are my, uh, the ones I'm really keen on, albeit all of them I'm keen on. And every beer is interesting to me, it's why I do beer reviews, you know, it's, it's what I love to do. Um, 16 minutes in, better knock it on the head. But yeah, fantastic beer, well make sure you check. Um, low cost out. And uh, yeah, just so you can see, here we go, lowcostbeer.com. But you, if you watch this channel, you know that I've used low cost for a while now, for a good two years, and I've never got any issues really. Apart from the day my package went up the road, and luckily they was honest. Although I knocked on the door and said, Who's at the effing door in the background? Oh, God's sakes. And it's like, I can hear you. But, hey, you know, things happen. <laughs> but yeah, cracking beer hall. Um, going to be reviewing them possibly from tomorrow night onwards because I've got to index them first and put them on uh, Twitter. Take a photo, stick them on Twitter, Facebook, and, and tag all the breweries in. Let them know. Maggie's coming. I'm interviewing. I'm reviewing your beers. Cheers, everyone. See you soon.